What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I do hope all of you are doing well, staying safe and washing your hands. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which is a transfer news video. That's right, no football's being played, but stuff is still happening in the footballing world. While clubs wonder if they're ever gonna play the game again, of course there are transfers, managers, players, agents, contracts, loads of stuff that's still happening in the world of football and there will still be a transfer window. And I'm gonna be talking about two players in this video today. One being a player that's been linked to Chelsea for a long, 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 long time, and that's Jamaican winger Leon Bailey. Chelsea have liaisoned with his representatives for the last almost few years now, and although he's still very young, Maybe it will eventually happen. Do we want this? Do I want it? Spoiler, probably not, but I'll get into it in a moment. And Spanish outlet Don Ballon has been talking about how Luka Jovic could be out the door at Real Madrid already. He only just joined in the summer. I don't think he was a Zidane signing. Zidane loves Benzema. He plays Benzema. Luka Jovic isn't really getting the game time. He's a baller. They might look to sell him. Chelsea should buy him. So before we get into all this good and delicious gear, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. It's my birthday. I've left it, whatever, a minute or so into the video to let you know I'm 31 years old today. So wish me a happy birthday by subscribing to this channel and liking the video and following me on social media. All right, let's get into the content. Let's start with Lukijovic. Right, Lukijovic is a bad man. He's been poor at Real Madrid, but he hasn't got much time. He hasn't got a chance there. At Untrack Frankfurt last season, he had an absolutely superb campaign. I watched him at Stamford Bridge score. He scored in both legs against Chelsea in the Europa League semi-final I think it was he's a very good striker he scored I think he was joint before the final he was joint top scorer with Giroud in the Europa League and he scored a bunch of goals in the Bundesliga I'm gonna throw up the stats on the screen now of his 18-19 campaign there it is there you can see why Real Madrid were very interested in in this young striker. It is weird because he like got to Real Madrid and it's almost like as soon as he got there they didn't really give him that much of a chance. I think he's had like 15 appearances this season probably across all competitions which isn't a lot really and he hasn't really got much to show for it to be honest. The fact remains though he's a young talented striker and if Real Madrid want to get rid of him it means it's just for them it's just not gonna work out at Real Madrid for him. Now Lukijovic is perfect for Chelsea. He can play as a lone striker, he can play in a two. Chelsea want to buy a striker. Tammy Abraham's uncertain whether to sign a new contract, but he's got a couple of years left. Maybe if Tammy Abraham's battling it out with Lukijovic in the Chelsea first team, Tammy Abraham wins the war, great. You've earned that contract of 200K a week or whatever crazy demands he wants. If not, you can hang out and be second striker to Lukijovic and still get a good contract if you sign it or whatever. Point being, it's healthy, it's top tier competition. Bring him in. We know Chelsea have got money to spend for a centre forward and it looks like he'd cost the same money as like Moussa Dembele of Lyon and if you ask most Chelsea fans and indeed football fans which striker would you rather have at your football club I think a lot of people would say Luka Jovic just because of how many goals he scored last season uh, some elite finishes and he just looks like he's got so much more to give as well the move's not going to work out at Real Madrid that might work well in Chelsea's favour in terms of bargaining, Marina Granoskaya can be like, right, she'll stroll up to Madrid and go, you don't even want this player, you don't want him, you've not played him, we'll take him off your hands, but you know what, we're only going to give you this much, and remember, Chelsea and Real Madrid have an open relationship in terms of there's a line of communication going, whether it's being like Hazard being sold, or you know, Courtois being sold, Chelsea buying Mateo Kovacic, Hazard being sold, they can be like, look, we're back, we're here to do business, let's take one of your players, please. We're going to stop giving you owls. Granted, we got Kovacic, which was a great deal, but let's get another great deal. Let's get Luka Jovic. I mean, am I right? I think I'm right. Let's get him. I'm sure there'll be loads of clubs that want him, but Chelsea should get him. Anyway, moving on. Let's talk about Leon Bailey, man. Wagwan. I probably shouldn't do the accent. Yeah, definitely shouldn't do the accent. Leon Bailey is a... Man, Leon Bailey, right. A few years ago, this kid... People watched Leon Bailey, like, reporters went to go watch him when he was, like, first sort of rising up in Leverkusen saying, this kid 
is amazing. Like, have these moments on the ball, right, where he looked absolutely incredible, Leon Bailey. I don't think his numbers have ever been very good in terms of offensive metrics at the end of the season, but people look at him as a bit more of, I guess, a raw product and being like, wow, you know, this kid's something special. Chelsea have been linked to him a lot. Um, if you want like a comprehensive video on it, I recommend you go check out Blue Lines TV. Nini did a video oh, ages ago now, I can't remember when he uploaded it, but he talked at length about Leon's uh, representatives, like stepdad, and why it's difficult to actually get a deal over the line, so Chelsea never did it, and apparently that's been a long-term issue between Chelsea, Leverkusen and Leon Bailey's representative. And the Metro and other news publications today are reporting how this has basically surfaced again, Chelsea are in for this player. Now the number being touted is an £85 million bid, which of course would be a Chelsea's record fee by a relative distance, £85 million. Pounds. Now, a bunch of clubs want him, I get that. I get he'd still be a really desirable winger, but do you know what this means? If Chelsea are genuinely putting an £85 million pound bid in for Liam Bailey, it means that's it. Lampard isn't convinced by Sancho. He doesn't think he'd be worth the 120, 130, 140 million pounds Chelsea would have to pay, and he'd rather pay this X amount less and get the likes of Leon Bailey, who indeed is a long-term Chelsea football club target. Now, I think this would be a waste of money. <laughs> you know, you can cut that if he signs to Chelsea and becomes an absolute baller because I'd love that anyway. Now, he is incredibly talented. I maintain I, I'm one of these people that watched Leon Bailey a long time ago thinking this kid is the next big thing. You know, Neymar, this is like the next like Neymar kind of player. Do you know what I mean? Like this flair, like sighting, wide forward. Just, he's gone off the boil a little bit. Like, he's had some quiet seasons, quiet moments. I get why they'd slap that price tag on him. It's this current financial climate in the transfer window of plus Premier League clubs like the likes of Chelsea, Manchester United, want a player. They know how much players are going for at the moment. He's their best attacking creative player. He's known in European football. They're gonna put a big price tag on him. And also he's been around for a while, um, maybe clubs know perhaps he hasn't got injury problems or this, that and the other and he's a bit seasoned, maybe they see him just exploding in the Chelsea team when he's surrounded by better players rather than what he's playing out in Germany, well around him in Germany at the moment. So they say £85 million. Pounds. To be honest, man, I'd rather get Jeremy Boga for £13 million and spend the rest of said money on Luka Jovic, the aforementioned player at the beginning of this video. 80, I mean, well, I want to get everyone's opinions on this, because correct me, I mean, I think 85, if you said to me, all right, Chelsea are going to buy Leon Bailey, you have to buy him, you're going to buy him, how much would you spend on him? I'd go, right, well, you know, they won't let him go for nothing. I wouldn't want to pay any more than... 50, 60 million pounds for him. If you get Leon Bailey for 60 million quid, kind of fair enough, do you know what I mean? Like, Hakim Ziyech for 32 million, who's been widely recognized as one of the hottest winger properties in Europe. Leon Bailey's younger, and he's been around for longer in terms of he's been in people's minds for longer, but that's like, Two and a half times the amount of Ziyech, dude. Ugh. Anyway, personally, if this is true and Chelsea go in for him, it's one of those, right, you trust the gaffer, he wants this player. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If he wants him, let him have him and let's see what happens. But really, I know this is kind of like it, millennial FIFA mentality, but you do just want Jaden Sancho, really, don't you? For a little bit more money, just get Jaden Sancho, he's bloody wicked. But just 45 million for Leon Bailey. It's mental, man. But I'm keen to get your thoughts and opinions on this. So everyone get down in the comment section below. And I want you to let me know what you think about Leon Bailey. Would you take him at Chelsea? Um, if you can't get Sancho, do you go for Leon Bailey? Like he was so highly regarded a while ago and he's still so young. What do you think? Do you still see a player in there? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Bailey in the comment section below. Also, Luka Jovic, for me, if possible, if available, this would be a no-brainer in terms of a Chelsea football target, ta a Chelsea football club target in the summer, easy for me to say. He'd literally be top of the list. I can't really think of another centre forward. If Vern is going to Liverpool, for example, for theory's sake, then Luka Jovic, he's kind of like the next best thing in terms of a centre forward. 
you know, higher up the list than Moussa and Dembele and the likes of, in my opinion. So you let me know your opinion in the comment section below on Luka Jovic as well as Leon Bailey. If you have enjoyed this content that I've provided you guys today, please do like the video. That means a lot and it supports me and I enjoy your support. And subscribe to the channel Football Therapy if you've not already done so. And if you do that, you make sure you hit the bell notifications icon as that is very, very important indeed. And you are all welcome to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Twitter and Instagram. And I do Instagram lives where I talk to you guys about Chelsea and football. So be sure to follow me on Instagram at Football Yannick. That's it for me, guys. You don't enjoy the football that's not happening, and I will uh, see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.